Knowing that you can use air to move things can be fun for a child. For this activity, you'll need to pick a few small objects to test with. For example, an eraser, a small crumpled piece of paper, a rock, and a leaf. I'll also be using this card, or you can use a piece of paper to help generate wind or air that moves around. First, you need to ask the child to pick the first object they want to test. Let's say they pick the leaf. Then you can ask the child, do you think that the air will move the leaf? They can give their answer and start testing by either blowing on the leaf or using the piece of paper or card to fan at it. As you can see, the air moved the leaf rather easily. Then you can ask the child to pick another object to test. Let's say they choose this rock. Again, you can ask them, do you think that the air will move the rock? They can give their answer and either start blowing on it or fanning on it using their little piece of paper. As you can see, the rock didn't move at all. Then you can talk to the child about how some things are easier to move with the air, like the leaf, while other things sometimes don't move at all, like the rock. Doing this activity will help a child understand that even though we can't see the air, it affects the things around us.